Aloha! <laughs> Top of the morning, friends and family. How are all you wonderful, beautiful people doing out there? If this is your first time to a Cusco Uncut, two times a week we put out videos that are edited, cinematic masterpieces. Once a week we do an uncut video like this. If this is your first time to a Cusco Uncut, welcome and thank you for joining us. Before we get started real quick, I just want to show you we do have some new uh, stuff available. If you go down right below this video, you can get our Aloha gear, sweatshirts, t-shirts on the back. It says, well, you can figure out what it says on the back if you look at the thing down below. But we've got some uh, mail time for you guys today. Also got a few topics I wanted to discuss on today's Cusco Uncut. First, let me introduce this lovely lady right here. This is Buttercup, our Lavender genetic stripe possible tiger reticulated python girl. She's a beautiful snake. There's a picture I put up on Instagram just this weekend of my second child Eli hanging out with her. And there it is right there. So the three things that I'm going to talk about today on the Cusco Uncut are as follows. Uh, video length versus number of videos I'm going to be putting out a week and just wanted to have a little discussion with you guys about that. Uh, what you can expect coming up this month on the channel. And also, we'll do a little update on our Enchi Cinnamon Sunset Ball Python that we've got here and talk a little bit about our plans with him. Okay, so first of all, uh, video length. I'm, I'm contemplating making the videos a little bit shorter for you guys and maybe doing one less a, m a week. Like, just do one totally edited video a week and then one Cusco and cut. As long as you guys love these Cuscos, un Cuscos Uncut, like I've been doing, uh, I'm going to keep making them. And the only reason I'm thinking about doing that is for your guys' time. You know, I, I don't want to put out so much content that you guys are um, having trouble keeping up with it. Hey, I, I'm, I'm really doing it thinking about you guys. I've got, it, it's actually the perfect amount of video outage that I do right now for me and my schedule. Um, but I could shorten it and just put more time and effort into the thought of what the topics of the videos are going to be. And I've, I've talked about this a little bit before, but I just would love your guys' input. If you can comment down below, if you feel like you don't have enough time to keep up with the content, let me know down below. If you feel like you could consume content every day, and I know there's some of you guys out there, but <laughs> go ahead and leave a comment down below and tell me, how do you find the time? Um... So, I'm just kind of realizing now that I have to do an unboxing and, and uh, some mail time and I'm holding this snake. It's not going to be the easiest thing in the world. I'll figure it out. Um, so, yeah, that's that's the length of the video thing. The, uh, the second thing as far as what you can expect on the channel this month. Uh, this is actually the first day, first full 24 hours I've been home. And we're leaving again tomorrow, which seems ridiculous. It won't be gone that long, but it's just like it's been a lot of go move. But... In that, uh, we're going down south just for a few days, and I'm thinking I'll probably link up maybe down uh, with Jay at Prehistoric Pets and do a video with him down there. Maybe. I don't know if he's going to be around or not, but we're going to be like 15 minutes from the shop, so I figured I might as well pop in and see what's going on. Do a video down there. And then uh, tonight, if you're, watching on this, if you're watching this on the day that it came out, I think I'm going to jump in with um, Adam Hallbleib on... Reptiles Unplugged with uh, Joel from State 48 Exotics and himself, Beach Bum Exotics, and just be there in person for their Wednesday night live stream. So I'll put a link down in the description for that if you haven't checked out Reptiles Unplugged already. Cool live stream they do every week, have cool guests, and um, and sometimes just hang out, have friends in the chat. The live chat down below is always fun. I, I like to pop in there every time that I can and hang out in the live chat because it's cool people and good little vibe, good little family. Um, so that's happening. And then also a little bit later this month, I'll be going out to Michigan to hang out at the Reptarium for the first time since the last time I was there, which, which was before they even actually opened. And now Brian has built out this whole second half of the Reptarium, expanded it, and there's like a big anaconda pond that I want to swim in. And I know we're going to be pretty busy out there with Brian just for a couple days. Um, we're planning to, I'm going to be on his podcast. Uh, Garrett's going to come out and we're going to have Brian on our podcast. And searchable as reptiles, which if you guys haven't checked that out and look down below, there's always links down below. There's always like a plethora of links down below that take you guys to all kinds of really cool stuff, including our Patreon. If you guys want to jump in on that, we're doing live streams on Triple B TV every week. There's so much going on, guys. And after the live stream, we go with our guests into a Zoom meeting. If you're on Patreon, you're 
able to come in and hang out face to face with the guests that we have on Triple B TV in in a Zoom meeting. And it's it's pretty cool. People seem to be enjoying it so far. And there's also this uh, Discord platform that we finally started for Patreon. And there's lots of people on there active every day. Good little community key, community key, community key that we've started in there. And uh, it's fun. It's cool. I invite you guys to check all that stuff out down below and, and join us up if you want to be part of all that. Um, I am, I'm just going a million miles a minute right now. It feels, I just, I feel like I've got a lot to cover and I want to do it within a certain amount of time. So I don't waste too much of your guys' time or any of your time. I never want to waste anybody's time. I make these videos hoping that every second of the video is just pure goodness that you soak up from me to you. And you're just like, oh, this is great. I can't miss a second of it. Speaking of which, it's mail time. And I'm going to try to do it with the snake. If it becomes a problem, I've got an empty tub right there. So All right, you just slither over there. I'll open this knife over here. This first thing is from... Spoon Man ball pythons in Nevada. No, don't you try to escape into the light. That won't be good. Spoon Man makes that makes me think of like Chris Cornell. You know what I'm talking about? Ooh, oh, this, this feels a little thicker than your average sticker pack. It's because there's is that a magnet? It's thick. It's like a kind of metalish spoon man ball pythons. Here, check out the logo. Zoom in. Shiny. Ooh, fancy. Look at that. Ooh, that's pretty. Thank you for the sticker, Spoon Man. I've been watching your channel for a couple of years now and love it. Seeing the day-to-day -day interaction with your kids and your wife are definitely a goal to achieve. You're such loving parents and have the best relationship with your kids and each other. Your positivity is an inspiration to me. Keep doing what you're doing. I wish you the best in all you attempt in life. Tim Stevens, Spoon Man, Ball Pythons. Thank you, Tim. That's very nice of you to say. And I, I hope it's all coming across well. I think it is. It seems to be. We've been, we've been doing good over here. It's true. It's been happening. Things have been manifesting. Manifesting the reality I've always wanted to, to live. It's been a beautiful thing. And we got ink balls out of Oklahoma. A couple different types of stickers here. We got black background, white background. Ooh, look at the skull. That's a theme, isn't it? Skulls and snakes. It's classic. Ooh, look, you can see my you can see my light diffuser in there too. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Very cool. Thanks for the stickers. Small Town Exotics. You guys may have seen this guy around as of late. Shane is, uh, look, he's even got his own custom envelopes right now. That's pretty cool, Shane. Shane was actually out here not too long ago doing a little video. I will put a link down in the description for that video if you guys want to check it out. Shane's a cool guy, and he's been working real hard at putting himself out there. And I see Shane going just about anywhere he wants to because he's definitely putting in the work to do so. And I don't think I actually had stickers for some reason from him. I don't know how that seems that's possible, but what is it? There's a second sticker in there. Oh, the four horsemen. Yep. Shane's crew. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, I'm sweating. I turned my fan off. I don't usually turn the fan all the way off. But the sound quality, you know. It's a thing. And one last package before we get into the Enchi Cinnamon Sunset Ball Python update. That was violent. We got here. Oh, we got some Reptichip stickers and sticker. And I believe that what's on that sticker is also on this t shirt. Yes, indeed. I don't know if you guys knew about, um, many of you probably did know that, that JT um, over Reptichip had a fire a little while, little while back. And I, I got one of these t shirts just to try and help support. And of course, Austin's animals were there too. Look at these guys. These guys are funny, man. <laughs> if you guys have never got to meet JT or Austin or any of that crew over there, these guys are freaking hilarious. Dude. I mean, you can tell by the shirt right there. <laughs> they just don't take themselves too seriously, which I love. And uh, cool people. Definitely cool people. Oh. I know they're they're working on rebuilding over there, and it's it's been a process. It's, I can only imagine, you know, fires are definitely something we've been thinking about a lot over here recently in California, but, ah, oh, yeah, I hope we never have to deal with something like they did over there. That's uh, it's kind of like a worst nightmare for any reptile keeper because we got to keep, you know, temperatures up with heat panels and all these different electrical sources, and it's just a, one of those things you hope you never have to deal with, but it, it sometimes becomes a reality. Brutal. A brutal, brutal reality. I don't, I don't want to focus on that too long. I'm jinx myself. 
That table made of real wood, boy. <laughs> All right, before I get out the entry cinnamon, I'm gonna put this girl away because that would just be too much to be doing her and and the entry cinnamon at the same time. That would just be ridiculous. You go, whoa, you go slither off over there. Go for it, slither, slither away. Bye bye, bye Buttercup. I'll see you in a little bit. Good slithering. Oh wow, you're slithering real well. I'm impressed. Good slither. <laughs> All right, Enchi Cinnamon Sunset Ball Python. That, my favorite combo of snake to have produced ever. This is the second time we produced one. You guys that follow the channel already know that, but I just want to show this dude again. Just look at how he's doing. Look at look at what a beautiful snake that this just incredible. So Sunset obviously brings in that orange and red palette that uh really wasn't there anywhere in ball pythons before not in, in this intense fashion and then the enchi really helps to accentuate the oranges and make them even brighter and then the cinnamon just makes them even more deep and then sunset itself brings this ghi type of pattern too so it's like it's really just such an awesome project those of you guys that know about it and or that don't know about it it's like being recessive it takes longer to work into projects so there's it get, brings that extra value of ha having to have patience to get into projects i eventually want to get this exact combo into the sunset or into the sunset into the clown pied project so enchi cinnamon sunset clown pied is definitely a goal of mine at some point and i'm hoping that will happen before i have grandchildren would be nice but you know we'll see how it goes take another look at this dude I've named him uh, Stud Muffin. I feel like that's appropriate. Because being that project that I just mentioned, he's going to be kind of one of the guys that's like the, the stud that really gets that project kicked off, I think. Oh, my gosh. I just Every time I look at this snake, I'm just blown away. Well, I think that was a pretty successful one cut. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. Did I kill it or did I kill it? You know, you could take that either way if you made it all the way to the end of this video please hit the like button smack the like button whack the like button touch the like button or the dislike button if you didn't like it i want you to touch that button too because however you're feeling just express yourself rub it rub it out make it feel good i think you'll enjoy yourself better if you do let it out just let it out all right. All right, guys, you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, have yourselves a great day, hope to see you tonight on Reptiles Unplugged in the live chat, and uh, if you missed it, well, we'll be back. <laughs>